Burgess wrote uh, generally of politicians the following our party leaders are perhaps by vice or virtue uh, of the vocation they have chosen uh, curiously empty and it's doubtful whether ageing will improve their condition it is in the nature of a politician to adhere to only half the truth and this is the, the crucial part the mature mind is always in a state of beneficent doubt. Is that true? Or perhaps is that not true? The mature mind is philosophical and knows that no political program can contain the whole answer. Today's politicians with their glib certainties are permitted to be propagandists but not philosophers. Moreover, they are committed to short-term programmes. I continue my walk through the Leicestershire town of Enderby in the English Midlands. As far as I can see during my perambulation, there is no Catholic church in Enderby, uh, but uh, here on the right there is an Anglican one, the parish church of Enderby here, on the right hand side. Here we are, Enderby Parish Church. We warmly welcome you. Let's see what sort of a welcome I do get here at Enderby Parish Church. The parish Church at Twickenham, Middlesex. There was not a warm welcome. It was closed and it always appears to be closed. Let's see what sort of a welcome I get here at Enderby Parish Church. Will I be warmly welcomed? Let's have a look. Oh, what a shame. Closed. How unusual.
I don't know if you've absorbed Burgess's Enderby Quartet of novels, but they are thoroughly engaging. There's a passage I quite like in Enderby's End. That reads something like this. The important thing is to get yourself born. You're entitled to that. But you're not entitled to life. Because if you were entitled to life, then the life would have to be quantified. How many years? 70? 60? Shakespeare was dead at 52. Keats was dead at 26. Chatterton at 17. But what happens when you die? You're finished with, Enderby said promptly. Done for. And even if you weren't, well, you die then. Gasp your last. And then you're sort of wandering, free of body. You wander around, and then you come in contact with a sort of big thing. What is this big thing? God, if you like. 